Hello America, this is Call of Duty Goddess. Today is April 4th, 2016. I'm at Leo Stratton's YouTube channel and I believe this may be the most important video that you will ever watch in your life. I um, have asked him if I could upload this video and I haven't gotten an answer yet. In fact, I haven't even finished the video yet and I felt it was that important to share this with you. So I'm going to upload it now and just take my chances because this is very important. Please subscribe to this man's channel. Um, Leo Stratton, you will get updates and you will find the truth. He's found it and he's given it out. So without further ado, this is Leo Stratton. Leo, I, I hope you don't mind me doing this. I'll leave the link for his YouTube. Please watch it. Good afternoon, everyone. As I promised, uh, all these documents are going to be coming out. And I'm going to articulate each individual or each co-conspirator behind the land grabbing, the BLM, the U.S. Forestry and uh, Department of Fish and Wildlife, also known as uh, ODWF, which is Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. Uh, here we go. The names that uh, or the co-conspirators are Kate Brown, Ted Kolodowski, Gordon H. Smith. Ron Wyden, Peter DeFazio, Earl Blumenier, David Wu, Greg Walden, Darlene Hooley, Jeffrey Allen, or also known as Jeff Merkley, Ted Fer Ferrioli, Cliff Bentz, Pete Runno, Dan Nichols, Stephen E. Grasty, Rhonda Cargis, Chad Cargis, David Ward, Charlie Hales, Anna Aiken Klonowski, or Klonowski, Dave Klonowski, Jack Klonowski, Amanda Marshall, Stacy Berkman, Janice M. Stewart, Stacy Davies, Dan Jordan, William Renwick, Karen Moon, Brenda Sam, Jerry Sutherland, King Williams, Zach Williams, Marissa Williams, Scouda Callister, Les Zates, Boyd Brenton, Russ Young, Susan J. Brown, Stephen Bering Beringer, Scott Myers, Chris B. Lamhart, Mark Webb, and others are part of the big co-conspirators behind the BLM, Department of Fish and Wildlife, and the U.S. Forestry. And this is where we're going to start exposing all these criminals that have infiltrated all three branches of government, the legislative, the judicial, and the executive branch, at the same time using the Bar Association in writing bills that are unconstitutional under ORS and have created these bills for several purposes. Number one is to steal your land, our land, the people's land. The other one is the water. God gave us water. This is free for all of us, yet they patent water. They made it a mineral where we have to pay for water or even store water. And we have one gentleman that's incarcerated for 30 days in jail because he stored water. These criminals here are the ones that are violating our constitutional rights. And this is why we're here today. What are we going to do? Are we going to bring these people under a common law grand jury? Are we going to indict these individuals? Are we going to incarcerate these individuals for the criminality? These names that you've just listed to us, uh, and you've, you've connected very well to us what your concern is as far as how they have applied themselves um, under the color of law. Go further, uh, the names and the title and agencies that they're connected with, but what kind of titles are we looking at here? Uh, it's funny, uh, our founding fathers wrote on the, 13th, on the organic 13th Amendment of 1819 about title of nobility. 
also goes states that in Article 1, Section 9 and Article 1, Section 10, Title of Nobility, these individuals gave themselves titles and they're running under as commissioners, judges, lawyers, um, and hiding under the bar association and their law firms. Through uh, these organizations, they are connected to the BLM, the Bureau of Land Management. What kind of other positions are they holding? Are they holding positions locally, uh, local. county and state? Correct. This is local. This is a local level, all the way to their buddies at the state at the state capitol in Salem, Oregon, all the way to Washington D.C. All behind the minerals, uh, uranium and gold, and it all comes back to a couple of companies. But the first two that everybody knows is Calico Resource and Uranium One, which we know Hillary Clinton's connection. Is there is there a tie is there a tie that you're going to be showing us to these uh, mineral type? companies or natural resource companies, is there a tie that you're going to be showing us to money and banking and that's also tied in with uh, uh, legislative and executive? Correct. Because one, write, one obviously writes the bills, one passes the bills, and then we got the judicial branch which they rule on the bills. We have a prime example with Anna J. Brown, where she's a judge yet she has money tied into Wall Street and gold which goes to Calico Resources. So what you'll be showing us today, it, it sounds like uh, it ties to multiple special interests as well as serving uh, with very specific titles such as judges, like a conflict of interest possibly. Is that what you'll be showing us Absolutely. today? Absolutely, and through, and through conflict of interest comes the criminality uh, and how they come about and, and stealing everybody's land through the BLM and then, and then turning around after, for instance, Anna J. Brown, that cites almost 80% of the uh, uh, rulings, she actually she has ruled in favor of the government almost 80% of the time, where she even gets a kickback under 5 U.S. Code of $5,000. So how is anybody supposed to have justice? She's through, uh, through funds, she's making money, yet using her title of position, also known as title of nobility, because she was appointed, not elected. So let's clarify that, appointed. As a, as a judge, not elected by we the people. A lot of these officials that we've named off, are they mostly appointed? Absolutely. We have another, another winner, Kate Brown. Uh, she was appointed. She wasn't elected by the people. We have David Ward. David Ward wasn't appointed. I mean, he was appointed. He wasn't elected. We have uh, the, another winner, uh, Stephen E. Grasty, uh, the administrative budget. He has several titles. We have, he has a commissioner. He also owns land from the... He, uh, Oh, he purchased land from the Bureau of Land Management, just like Kate, just like Anna J. Brown. She's a he's a he's a he's a judge. He's a, he he basically holds like six seven titles. And how is anybody supposed to have justice or get any justice when this guy's all over the place? He's been in in Washington D.C. since 2002, and I believe that's when it started with uh, with uh, Wyden and Jeff and Jeff Merkley. And this is where. This is why we're here today, that these criminals, using their title of nobility, is, what brought, is what's bringing out the truth. Because at the end of the day, they hold all three branches of government at the same time, destroying America, destroying us, we the people. And, and if I may ask, many officials uh, and private citizens and um, law enforcement and military, uh, every American citizen has the, the right to own and buy land and sell land. How does this um, tie into some criminal or criminal aspects, yes, and possibly the um, conflict of interest aspect? How would a judge who buys land, which is their right to as a citizen still of America, how can that be seen or viewed as um, a, a criminal aspect or even a conflict of interest in, in the titles they hold or positions they hold? Well, uh, we all buy land, but the difference between them and us, and we got and why I'm saying between them and us, is because again, through their title of nobility, they patent lands, which you and I cannot do. How in the world can they patent lands but we can't. What are they so? Are, are they are they are they better than we are? Are we all common men? Is this possibly connected to those private citizens, uh, which uh, significantly throughout this nation is being exposed, uh, where lands owned by um, 
federal agencies, so they claim, like the Bureau of Land Management and Forestry, uh, wildlife agencies. Is it possible that it is uh, a conflict of interest or spe special interest that they're receiving or purchasing these lands and then making judgments in cases where individuals that were once private owners had their lands removed from them and implicated as criminals in the process of losing their lands to um, agencies such as the BLM? Uh, absolutely. Uh, so you're saying that, that, that they're in, in collusion with one another? Absolutely. Uh, making monetary gain. Matter of fact, we got Iron Triangle, perfect example, with Boyd and Brighton, where he got $69 million for 10 years in stewardship using uh, uh, Scott, uh, Scott Cal Cal Callister. And through. And, through and Scott Callister. Uh, Scott Calalister, is she, who is she related to? She's related to Zach. Uh, she is related to this gentleman named Zach Zietz. Les. Or Les. Les Zietz. And wh what is it that they do exactly? Uh, so I have, obviously, there's a couple titles which they have, and let's do this. And we're going to run down on how they are tied and what they have behind, uh, behind this conflict of interest. And... Uh, here we go. Uh, Callister, she's the editor of the Blue Mountain Eagle, which is uh, the newspaper. Uh, she's also a 9-11, a 911 dispatcher. Uh, so that gets so, and she works under underneath uh, the Mar uh, Marissa Williams, uh, related to uh, married to uh, Jack Williams and her father Zach, her father-in-law Zach Williams. Which we go back to the U.S. forestry with uh, Boyd Brenton, and Boyd Brenton again under the stewardship is where he's getting where he's getting the sixty nine million dollars from the United States government, meaning our tax dollars, not the not the not, not Congress's tax dollars, our tax dollars that are distributed to these individuals, we can do what's over, uh, what's fit to them under the Stewardship Act, and also to the United to the United States Forestry Services, and how they get all these contracts. And go ahead and use our tax dollars to steal to steal your land, and go ahead and purchase the land through the BLM so they can use it at their at their convenience. Let's say uh, lumber, and uh, it's a it's a prime example. Uh, not that they're just gonna get the lumber, but also the minerals off the ground, and the, and then and then patent the water rights, uh, which is which is ridiculous. But as I will go further, I would demonstrate where they patent water. And, and is it true, going back to Scott Callister, that she's also an individual that writes often in favor, with um, possibly some bias in favor of um, the Bureau of Land Management uh, against uh, individuals that have been trying to defend the rights of private citizens and ranchers? Correct. Uh, she's deep. I mean, she's deep into this. She's as corrupt as probably Kate Brown and Anna J. Brown. This is how deep it is. And as I would go, I would articulate and actually in more depth uh, of each individual and, and, and articulate how, how deep involved they are. This is, uh, right now, this is just a surface. And as we go, we're going to start uh, giving details in respect to these individuals. This is Call of Duty Goddess signing off, and as always, I've got your six.